Now, in Kenya, there is a research that is going on uh, uh, that concerns or that involves childhood cancer. And cancer in children is skyrocketing. There is a problem. There is a problem. When I was growing up, I used to know cancer is for the elderly. Those who are just going, they are, they are finishing their life, they are going. Right now, cancer is in children. And it's actually alarming until it has reached a point where KNH is actually carrying out a research on what is happening to these children. Now, there's a cancer awareness work. And I want you to be very keen, okay? Those of you who are following these things. And I saw this. Uh, somebody sent me a clip uh, that was uh, from a mainstream media. This was the advert. And then somebody sent me another uh, poster for this. And that caught my attention because I was like, okay, okay, what is happening with these children? But we've been talking about dads and children all through. We've, talk, we've talked about how to feed a pregnant woman and then how she gives birth and then what she feeds the child, breast milk, of course, and then how to win off the child. We've done justice on these topics. But the weird part is, if at this, at this moment in time we are still having walks for cancer and that we are hoping cancer will one day die, we are in the wrong place. Let's be honest. It's not that cancer just dropped from the skies and fell into our systems and now we are suffering from these things. And this is not to criticize that work. But I want you to be very keen. If you're following these programs, just the same way you followed Olympics, just the same way you follow that diabetic work, please take notes. Do not forget your notebook. Take notes. Look, listen to the talk, those guys who are giving talks. Take notes. Listen to the speakers. Take notes. Watch around the environment. Every single detail that you're seeing, take notes. We can have that conversation on Tuesday, right? <laughs> we can have that conversation on Tuesday. Sometimes I tend to blame myself. Is it that I'm so observant or something? Because everything that I see happens to be a mistake. Just the same way one of you told me that the moment they just walk into a supermarket, and this is the courtesy of Brian uh, from Uganda, this commandant, this commandant guy, he said, nowadays he walks into a supermarket, he sees nothing. And he can't believe that we've been fooled all along. Imagine that. <laughs> nowadays you walk into a supermarket, you will not even see ghee because people are becoming aware and they're picking the ghee. Immediately it comes, it's gone. People are becoming so aware that supermarkets are now losing businesses. And guess what? Yes, someday you might think, because well, somebody told me, please, Daktari, please, please. And this was on Gong Road. I'm headed to work in Lovington in the morning, and some just, just tell, stops me and tells me, hey, Daktari, please, you have no idea how much lives you're changing. You might never know, but allow me to tell you, and this is a guy on a motorbike, and he tells me, bro, my name is Hassan. You have changed our lives so much and the lives of my family. I cannot thank you enough. But I want to tell you this, please, don't ever allow them to buy you. Listen to that. Please, Daktari. For our sake, don't ever allow them to buy you. And I told him, when I was starting these, I wasn't starting these with the intention of being endorsed or being listened to or being influential or famous or even creating content. I was putting out these videos so that one day when I get old, I'll look at my YouTube channel and just smile. I had this information. And those who got it will, will actually have uh, the best lives ever. And that is always my hope. We know that in these platforms, we don't live for the future. We live for the present. But if God gives us a grace or the chance to live tomorrow, because we ate healthy today, we have nothing to regret. And I was so happy because those people that I served that day, they could actually feel the vibrance. Every time I serve somebody, they know it. Anybody who has come for my physical consultations, even on online consultations, they can bear witness. I give it my all. To an extent that, when I ask you, do you have any questions, you tell me that everything that I wanted to ask has been answered. And the weird part is, there are people who come for my consultations. They have been my followers for the longest period of time. The gentleman who came in from Kampala, man, to consult for himself and the mother. And this just got so interesting because this guy, was seated there for about 30 minutes just listening to me ranting. And then at the end of the conversation, the gentleman told me, if I had this, 
I would not have traveled all along here because you've actually cleared every single doubt that I had. Every question that I wanted to ask about your videos on YouTube because I've been watching your videos for the last seven and a half months. He told me, bro, I don't have any questions. <laughs> you don't even have to tell me to ask me if I have a question. I don't have any questions. He produced a notebook. He had written about 13 questions that have been taken from my lives including the challenges and the misunderstandings that are there. And he told me, you just cleared that in 30 minutes. Something that I've been unable to clear all my life. I am 43 right now. My mother is 72. And something that I've never had a chance to see clearly, I've now seen it. And that is a blessing to me. That is a reward enough. So please, if you are my follower, you know how far we've come. You know how much energy we've fought to be this bold. On all platforms, you will see the negative energy anytime. Even if I post food, <laughs> something that all of us can actually come together and celebrate it. All of us, food, there will be a negative energy. Why is there no gully? Why is there's always that guy who has been there, always trying to push that negative energy? Nowadays, at least I have the guts to just block them because that negative energy does not help anymore. So we block them. But the ideal situation is we have come a long way. I'm a great fan of myself. Sometimes I go back to my videos when I was starting. Remember when I had that small board? You remember that? <laughs> hey, hey guys, thank you so much. I, I can't appreciate you enough. Like literally, thank you so much for being my followers and my supporters. You've done just uh, tremendous work. And I can't thank you enough. You've been so supportive. We've reached levels that personally I would have never foreseen them because I'm a guy who never looks at tomorrow i'm always living in the moment because i'm always conscious about life most of you are unconscious most of you are so unconscious remember there were days that we used to do these lives only on tiktok without youtube and we used to do them on monday in the morning in those days i used to do a night shift after night shift i come here on monday morning i do a live and were, it was interesting we've grown all the way and now look at us where we are and now we've reached a place where everybody's getting scared that Daktari might one day be bought. Imagine that. I will advise anybody who is a health content provider. Please, for the sake of the public, for the sake of the nation, or the continent, or the world at large, never ever sell your soul because of money. Never. You have so much information inside you that you can actually change somebody's life. But do not be money-oriented. Money is not everything. If you don't have inner peace, if you don't have the perfect peace that we talk about every day, you will sell yourself for that house in Runda. The pharmaceutical companies will buy you so expensively and you will think that is enough until you lose relevance totally, until your goal and your purpose are gone. And now you'll be punished. Because the same same people will take you to court and that money will still go back to them. Look at how comedians are being are suffering out here. They come out, they are very funny, and then they sell their souls to the betting companies. And now everything they do, every joke they make, they must acknowledge a betting company. Now they cannot talk against the ill or the bad uh, uh, side of the betting companies. So imagine me being bought by a gig company or a pharmaceutical company, and now I have to come here and preach the opposite of what I started. Imagine that. So when I look at that, and then I look at where I've come from, from 102 kgs, I shed all the way to 68 kgs, and now I build back, I'm now at 74 kgs, but I added 2 kgs, I don't know if I got relaxed and happy, and I go to 76, so now I'm 76, I'm trying to bring it down again. So imagine that, imagine how far we've come with the diets, with the fasting, with all these things that we do every other time, we remind each other, I am not perfect. I am not, the, I am not even the best doctor. No, I'm not. But guess what? At least, and at most, I practice what I preach. You will never see me in a bar drinking alcohol. <laughs> no. You will never see me somewhere betting. You will never see me in cheap talk. You can do it. And I know the energy that comes from somebody who has attained those goals. There's a time I used to sit down and all I could do is just to talk crazy things on the timelines of people who are trying to share health information or any type of information. I was that guy. So now when I look at somebody doing such things, I understand them. Because I only pray that one day they can see light. Because when I was in the darkness, 
that is exactly what I was saying. I was thinking, oh, these guys, oh, what are they saying? I mean, well, how can he say diabetes is irreversible? This guy has no sense. Did he, did he go to school? Did he? Uh, where are his papers? That's exactly the same energy that I had back then. So when you push that energy, I believe you're headed somewhere. I actually like that enthusiasm of that energy because you are an easy person to change. Because once you try my stuff for only one week, I have a client. But most importantly, I have a supporter and a fan for a lifetime. Imagine that. And I will never write you a prescription unless it's necessary. Imagine that. And it gets to a point where somebody asks me, Dr. Ari, so now that you've talked about this on my, on, on my physical consultation, which drug do you think I should use? I'm like, no. I'm not going to write you any drugs. In fact, the drugs that you have are more than enough. Let's do away with this one. What is this advertising doing here? Let's do away with it and then let's start fixing the kitchen. And guess what? The stories of success are tremendous. It is just amazing. It's amusing. It's amazing. It's enjoyable. And I love what I do because that is the only way I can glorify God. By easing pain and suffering from his people.